uh, 100%. I think there's definitely, you know, something that we like to call in marketing, you know, the, the chemistry session um, where, you know, you get to meet your, you know, and whether it came from your side or their side on how you connected, but there's definitely a sense of, you know, you need to take stock of, you know, on a chemistry level, on a personal level, like, do you, do you like these people? Do you want to work with them? What's their working style? What phase of the business are they in? Um, you know, a, a classic startup versus an established brand are two very different, um, I guess, incubators of how, of how the work environment's going to be. Um, and another thing that I always like to consider is, um, do I have the autonomy or the, the authority to make the calls that I need to make when it comes to marketing? Um, and that's so that's so critical. And it's so many uh, consultants, um, colleagues and peers of mine have have sort of agreed on that. And there was almost this like three golden rule as as, as a marketing consultant. It's, you know, to take on a new client, you should look at ask three questions. And the first question is, will I have the autonomy or the authority to make the decisions? The second is, do I have the budget? And the third is, do I have the business support? And if the answer is yes to those three things, then you know you've got really good chemistry. Then you're like, okay, great. We can have another conversation about what we can do for you. Let's do a marketing audit. Let's, let's do a diagnostic of what the problem is, where the challenges are. Um, because so often when you, and I'm talking from a client's perspective, because I've been the client too, now I'm on the other side of the fence, um, you know, you think you, ha you think you know what the challenge is on the brand or the, or the business or whatever you're working on, um, but then on closer inspection by a third party or a consultant who does this as their professional living, they're like, well, you know, maybe it could also be this, this, and this. So there's definitely a sense of being open to other, other, other things. And um, in marketing, everything is so circular. So everything will have a knock on effect and a ripple effect. And, you know, you, you've got to be able to do things in, in a bit of a sequence. Um, you know, if you, if you don't really know who you are as a brand, um, what your positioning is, um, you know, you can't expect to have a phenomenal Instagram account. So it, it's just everything is so in, interlocked together. Um, and it's and a lot of that is taking your client on that journey. Um, because I fundamentally believe that people don't plan to wake up and, you know, ruin your day or ma ma make our lives hard. And, and I think that a lot of the time it's non-marketing directors or and, and, and stakeholders um, not having much experience with working with marketers and being a marketer now on this side of the fence, it's, it really does start opening your eyes to working with other, you know, non-marketers in the room. And you've got to get used to being the only marketing voice in a room. And it's, it's definitely something that you learn and you'll grow into it. And um, that's what the past six months has been for me. It's just finding my rhythm as what type of consultant do I want to be? Um, and what kind of agency am I building? And um, yeah, it's, it's a journey. <laughs>